Andrew. It's popping. How's it going? <laughs> Hi, guys. It is so cool to talk to you. The film is, is so amazing. It blew me away. I, I love what you guys bring to not just the drama, but the comedy of it, which is, is saying something to balance those things. But I was speaking to Karen KD, and they said that uh, he was saying that um, you guys did playlists for the characters to get into yeah. their heads. Can yeah, you tell me yeah. what was on your playlist? Because I'd, I'd love to hear <sighs> how you thought of them. It was a lot. Oh, um, it was a mixture of things. I feel like all of us had a um, a playlist that was mm -hmm. tailored to us, but layered in so many different ways because right. we all affected each other. So I, there, there was music on, you know, our playlist differently yeah. that kind of gave us the vibe of each other. Yeah, like man. I had, I had uh, Naraya Francis and like Ishtar and cooler Bobby things to put me in the sense of Kunle, or I had some like earth, wind and fire and things of that nature to remind me of Kunle. Right. And then, you know, weird things like <laughs> Madtronics and stuff like that yeah. for, for Carlos, you know what I'm saying? To just give me a perspective of where I'm coming from when it comes to my energy towards yeah. these characters. And of course, Sean, he just, you know, this can lose. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I think it's not only a playlist thing. Like, you know, I, I, you see Carlos in the movie, like, put on headphones and be like, let me regulate myself. Right. So I'm listening to, like, very calming music, you know, old, like, Latin classics. But then, you know, throughout the film, I'm, I'm, I was, you know, I was reading, like, sci-fi, fantasy, shit like that, like, to, to try to, like, feel like a little bit more of an outsider, you know, like, try to be, like look at other people and feel like you can't relate to them you know that like like carlos will spend days alone in his room like i, I you know it's all too much it's overwhelming mm. i don't really want to be there mm. you know and then you're thrust into this situation where we're all having to deal with this together you know you gotta we in it now just gotta do it <laughs> exactly mine's a lot i mean it's everything i feel like kunle is the the one friend that gets in your car and you can just put your phone on shuffle and it doesn't matter you're not like oh he's cool? gonna think this is weird no. right he's gonna like oh okay i get it all right i like this in fact, no he'll matter plug your phone in, he'll charge it for you yeah i'll charge <laughs> it for you I'll be, hey you have a text message i'm not gonna read it it came through <laughs> like, hey here you go you know it's just that sort of thing he's like this this universal friend he just mm. he just wants to just kind of like love on everyone and just like emote all this positivity mm. I found really, especially in the first like 30 minutes, the, the, the energy between you two is so fluid and it's so natural. It, it's, it's amazing to see it. Did, did that come just on set the moment you started you know, going through it or, or did that take some work or what was that like? We had it before. Like yeah. we did that. We were, so when, I, when, when Donald first hopped onto the Zoom call when we were doing the audition, I was like, his face in, in general just softens you up, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. The smile that Donald brings off of initiating the conversation in general <laughs> already lets you know, okay, I can be cool with him. And then as you get to know Donald, he's like the, the adult that still has this like innocent piece of <laughs> the kid, right? right? So it's like, like Donald can allow to for himself to grow up, right? Which was good <laughs> because in his, in his adulthood, he still gets to respect the adolescent, you feel me? So right. he's that much more relatable. He's that right. much more understanding. He can hear you that much more, you feel me? Because kids only are sponges, you know? Mm -hmm. And so when it comes to Donald, he wants to accept and right. like let you know, hey, give me all of you, I can handle it. Just recognize that I'm gonna give you a smile in return, you feel me? So that was easy, like really one of the easiest things. I feel like it's harder for me to put my pants on in the morning <laughs> uh, and to, you know, find camaraderie and also brotherhood with Donald. Cause he's just like, yeah, everybody needs a little pocket, Donald. I, that, I think if I'm not mistaken, y'all shot the, the beginning of the movie after we had shot all of the, basically yeah. everything. That was like the last two weeks. Yeah. yeah. And we so the connection the, was like immediately, right. like, oh, these guys are friends. They have to be. Like, yeah. Talking. Right. Yeah. And I love that. I mean, it's just their energy. Like between, and RJ was the first person that I met and I was so nervous and I get on, I like hop on and RJ's like, yo. Yeah. yeah. And I was like, Hey, <laughs> hey, man! Like, well, it's good, right? Man. And everyone always thinks like, "Yo, wait, do you guys know each other? Y'all known each other?" We're like, "No, we just met." And then it happened, throwing in Sebastian on that, and then you know, now we we probably could have shot the like not the rehearsal, but like the audition. Yeah, yeah like yeah. we could have shot the chemistry read. It was really that good. We were like, "Oh shoot, this could go up tomorrow." They on my refrigerator, like, big. They're really on my refrigerator. <laughs> That's really a fact. Big. That's true. Yeah, they are in my house. 
Well, it was awesome. Their friendship is everything. It's a fantastic film. Thank you so much for the time. Thank you.